All right, good morning and happy Monday morning to everyone. Today is Monday, July 18th. And uh, this is our weekly uh, Live Younger chat, our Monday morning miracle call. Um, but you know, as we've come to understand, this, this is actually science. Not, it sounds miraculous, but it's science. <laughs> and we have the science to back up all of the wonderful things that these patches do. So this is an opportunity, especially for those of you who are joining us for the first time. Uh, my name's Michelle Niels, and I co-host these Monday morning calls with Karen O'Neill. That's kind of interesting, Niels and O'Neill. And uh, she's in Colorado Springs and I'm in Fort Collins, Colorado. And we co-host these chats, which our purpose is um, to come together as a family, as a community, um, which is one of, the, one of the things that people join network marketing companies for is the community. And uh, can I have an hallelujah, amen. We have the best community ever here. I just love this community. I love being part of it and seeing all your beautiful faces um, every week on all of our calls. The purpose of the Monday morning call is for sharing our stories our, um, about the patches, our questions, um, all are welcome. The only caution that we give every week is that we name only symptoms. We don't, we don't talk about disease names. We don't make any claims about these products, healing, curing, preventing any disease. So with that in mind, um, the way that this rolls, if you have not been here, is you raise your hand um, and I will call on you. And at the bottom of your screen, there's a reaction button. There's a little smiley face with reactions and you just press that and then there's a place to raise your hand. And if all else fails and you can't find that or you're having technical trouble, just wave. Or um, if there's a lull in the conversation, you can just start talking as long as no one else is speaking. But hopefully you can raise your hand and I'll see you and I'll call on you. So we have a lineup of Ali and then Kay and then, is it Titania? Okay. All right, so Allie, you're first. Go ahead and unmute. Good morning. Good morning. I love being here. We have the most amazing community of everyone. Quick um, follow-up from last week where I had the tick bite. I had like symptoms of exhaustion two days. I did what everybody said. Uh, all the symptoms gone, swelling, everything is healed. And I, I make a podcast and I was just, I'm really high excited. I used to take an hour to edit it because I had so many breaths because the breathing's a little challenge. I got through it like in 10 minutes. I only had to remove three extra breaths. And I'm so thankful because I continue to use the X39 and the X49s. And I know the stem cells are growing my nerves back. And I just continue healing. Thank you. <laughs> the stem cells are growing your nerves back. Yay. Yes, they are. The body is doing what it does. And the, the patch is just assisting in that natural process that our bodies can do. What's, what, what is not so natural is having more stem cells as we age, right? We all know that the older we get, the fewer we have, except if you're using X39. So, Kay, you are next. Go ahead. and well, good, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, Beautiful day here in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm going to share a testimonial from one of my distributors, soon to be managers. He and his wife were on vacation in Hawaii and for some reason were visiting an airport and they were close enough to the jets that when one of the jets took off, his wife lost her hearing in one of her ears. This was maybe 15, 20 years ago. They, the doctor told them that the little hairs in her ears were totally destroyed and the body cannot grow those back. Well, he reported to us on our team call last week that she went into her audiologist or her doctor, ear doctor, ear, nose and throat guy. The, the hairs have all grown back and her healing is back to normal with oh the X39 <laughs> and carnosine. Oh my gosh. Okay, Kay, how long was it that she used the patches? Oh, they've been on them over a year. Okay. Uh, probably and a year and three or four months. We, we need to say never say never, right? This yes. Thing, this will never heal. This will never grow back. And <laughs> said it's impossible for the body to regrow those hairs, but that's exactly what's happened. So oh don't give up. I, 
I have goosebumps. That's awesome. Thank you, Kay. That's a great story. We can do the impossible, Carolee said. Yes, our bodies can do what heretofore was impossible. Thank you. Thank you, X39 and, and David Schmidt. All right. We have Titania. Am I saying that right? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, well, I'm very new to the patches. I've only been on them one week. And I just, I, I love everybody's testimonials here, but maybe you can tell me something because the first day I was on them, I had an extreme headache. I don't get headaches. The next day I had a mild headache, but this last week I was so exhausted. I was so exhausted. Tell me, is this a detox? What's happening? Great, great question. I love that question because um, that's that's come up before. And how new are you, Titania? How long have you? Just one week. One week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how much water are you drinking? Is my first question. How are you doing? <laughs> You know, it's, I, I don't think I'm getting enough water for the day. And I, I was, that was a big question to me. So maybe that's part of it. <laughs> yes. Well, now as you say, not quite enough. Um, yeah. You know, not, not the eight glasses of water that I should be drinking. Okay. So a good rule of thumb is okay. um, half of your body weight in ounces per day. Um, 130, 120 pound woman should drink minimum 60 ounces, but that's kind of the bare minimum. If you live in a dry climate, you need a lot more. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I shoot for a gallon a day, actually. Oh. <laughs> so, so eight glasses a day probably would be minimum for you. And it, that will make a difference for sure. Um, a lot of people get headaches just without even using X39 because they're not drinking enough water. Okay. The other thing is the beauty of the patch is you can remove it. If you're experiencing an uncomfortable symptom of any kind, you can remove the patch. That's the beauty of this technology. It's not like taking an herb or a drug that once it's in the body, it has to mm -hmm. metabolize and go through all of the systems of the body before it's, it could be hours. It could even be a couple of days. The patch, if you're experiencing an uncomfortable symptom, just remove the patch and then the next day, maybe use it for less time. So oh. it is possible you're having a detox. Um, the other uh, question you had was about fatigue. And I would love to speak to that because that was my experience. Anyone and um, dropping something off that's already paid for or picking something uh, someone up. Someone needs to be muted. Gregory. Oh. Thank you. Um, so, so the fatigue, you know, what, what do we hear most often? We hear people have energy with the X39. They experience an increase in energy in the first, sometimes the first day. Um, and I did for a couple of days, but then I started to get really tired. Are you on a regular sized book or a large book? Uh, it's the same price. Um, can we, thank you. We need to keep that muted. Um, so the, the fatigue can be, again, your body coming back into homeostasis. So, um, the adrenal glands for most of us in the Western world are quite run down. We burn the candle at both ends. We're running, you know, 50 million different directions. We have millions of distractions. We don't get enough sleep, drink too much caffeine, et cetera. Not as so much maybe people in this community, but in general. So if your body is tired, look at it as a sign that you're, you're healing on some level and that you just do need some more rest. So if you can get more rest. So. Okay. I am a busy, busy person and I live up at 8,000 feet. So oh, yeah. both of those with more water and, and, and super, super busy. So yeah. So yeah. Thank you so much for You're that. Welcome. Michelle, may, might... I, may I add something on that? Michelle? Yes, yes, please. Kay. Stay back again. Um, we had a, uh, two sisters last week who had been on the patches for three weeks and I was asked to do a three-way call with them. And when I got on, I said, how are you feeling? And they said, we've never felt worse in our lives and since we started these patches. <laughs> and uh, immediately, of course, I thought detox, but three weeks is a long time to detox. Well, as I spoke to them, I realized their symptoms were COVID symptoms. And I said, have you been COVID tested? No, we don't want to stick anything up our nose. I said, well, I'm very glad you've been on the patches for three weeks because you're having COVID symptoms and they're really mild. 
and the patches are keeping you from being really, really sick. So I suggested they put Eon over each lung because there's often inflammation of the lungs going on with that little infection and uh, keep up with the patches and explain to them how the patches were helping, not causing what was going on. So my group loved that, Sharon. I thought the rest of the group might like that too. And if I might add something real quick uh, also. Um, CJ, yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, sometimes we're drinking tap water and tap water sometimes has things in it that, that does not help us, especially if it's fluoride. So if we can get spring water, not distilled, not um, just Kmart or Walmart, whatever it is out there, but something a good quality uh, spring water and i did see a chat there someone mentioned the himalayan minerals i like celtic salt if she could find that it's uh saline naturally you don't want to just buy any old sea salt it's in a few stores we have natural grocers locally here but i don't know if she would be available for that but i don't know where natural grocers is in other states but in colorado that's my little my little input i Thank got a headache before Thank you, CJ. Yes, having enough salt. Um, if we're, especially if we are drinking close to a gallon of water a day, we do. We definitely need to replenish salt. Did you have another question, CJ? Your hand was up earlier, or did you want to just share that? Uh, CJ. Okay. We'll sorry, go. To I, did, I didn't quite understand what you said. I'm sorry. Oh, did, did you have another question? Uh, no, no. I was just going to give a little tip. I and oh. I'll take my. Hand. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for the tip. And thank you, Kay. Oh, you're welcome. Yay. Wow. I love how much wisdom we have here. Heidi with the big smile. Hi, hon. You can unmute. So I'm excited because my share for today is in connection with the um, a wonderful individual that's been on the patches for a week. I just barely combined all of my stuff together in preparation for um, taking it to create my story at the global conference in August. And I thought, oh, I wanna bring that original, um, the peel off from my X39. And I looked at the back of the card and I thought, oh my goodness, I went a week, my first week happened to be at night wearing it because I listened on February 22nd, I listened to my very first Tuesday night introduction to X39 and I put it on like two hours later, and I wore the patches, um, the X39 patch on my neck at night for the first week. And I experienced fatigue and it was a good fatigue because I have never slept through the night like I had for that first week in seven or eight years, straight through the night. And I know that it was because I was one well hydrated and I was just going to do an add to the hydration. I love what you said, Michelle, about um, half your body weight in ounces. I actually teach people how to measure their body mass by taking their middle finger. And I don't know if you can see this over the widest part. And that's the frequency that they need to drink that water. And so the frequency is either four, six, or eight. So I'm at a four because I have a very small um, frame body, even though I'm 170 pounds. So I drink, I divide four into the frequency. If you can't touch, then that's six. And if you don't even overlap, that's eight frequency. And so it's the, it's the bones that you need to be hydrating because of the, your bone mass. So that might be a key is the frequency. Just to understand that a little better, Heidi, um, is it when you say frequency, you mean how many times a day you're drinking? Yes. What do you mean by frequency? Okay. So, so I, I, can, I can put it in the text because I don't want to take up too much time, but um, okay. I have a small bone frame. So my bones aren't as big as someone who can't even like wrap can't their, mm -hmm. yeah. That means they need to hydrate more often but the same quantity because it's half your body weight, but freak more frequent. Does that okay. make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I had not ever heard that. Thank you. Thanks, Heidi. I learned that from my alkaline water ionizer instructional person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Ravel, you're next. Good morning. 
Hi, good morning. It's great to be here. I'm Ravel Guzman from Blue Mountains, Ontario. Something interesting that came up in Zena Locke's Zoom last night from uh, uh, an interesting um, perspective that um, Karen Edwards Fu, who was sponsored by Susan Swayze, Karen's in California, and she was talking about patching the opposite side of the body to deal with the other side. And I realized that I was patching my left leg um, after an injury from, um, uh, from dealing with cement, <laughs> glazing cement like several months ago, because I wanted to work outside. And instead of doing that, I patched the opposite side of the body with carnosine. And wouldn't you know, this morning, that sensitivity and discomfort was totally gone. It's just amazing. And just one additional thing, which I had shared in a community group, that I've always been sensitive to bites, mosquitoes, flies, whatever. And I've had to wear special clothing, including a jacket and pants with mesh since 2016, it's quite embarrassing during the summer. But uh, the first year on X39, I noticed a, a reduced sensitivity, although I still had to wear special clothing. Second summer, second year after using X39, I now feel completely free to go outside without any type of natural um, bug or insect or um, fly repellent um, or special clothing clothing and I can just go outside completely freely, even, you know, in the evening with mosquitoes out and everything. So I just feel <laughs> incredible, um, incredible benefit from X39 and um, so grateful to David Schmidt and this company for having these patches available. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Ravel. Before you go away, hon, um, when you said on the Carnosine on the opposite side of the body. I'm not really sure I understand. And maybe there's other people who don't either. What do you mean? I mean, whatever the placement is, you just put it on the exact same acupuncture point, but on the other side? Yeah, I mean, what do you mean by the Western side? part of my mind thinks that I need to patch right on that location. But those of you like practitioners have had um, acupuncture training, which I haven't, um, know that you can do you know, a fair distance away. But in fact, what I did was I used the point on my right hand below my palm and that handled my left leg. It didn't even have to be the same M. It, it was so bizarre. Oh. Um, so <laughs> I, I also used Alavita, of course, which I use every night, which is great for skin and sleep and so many other things. But every day, using these patches, I just seem to learn something new and I'm blown away constantly. So always learning and growing. It's great to be here. Hope that helps, Michelle. Carolee asked, it, is it in, in the chat, is this only for carnosine? Um, I, I, that's why I mentioned that I also use Alavita because it's so right. hard to, you know, to have a, you know, X, X means Y correlation with these things. Um, so I, I really don't know. I'm just uh, flabbergasted. <laughs> and grateful. Great. So I, I think the takeaway is um, experiment. Yeah, experiment. Um, so we don't have any other hands up. Uh, so how many? We've got 85, 85 participants. Is there anyone else with a question? Um, anyone new to our community who would just like to say hello? Um, Anyone have a testimonial that you might have shared in the past? Oh, we have David. Okay, David, go ahead and unmute. Hey there. I, I just had a, a question. For the first time, I had used the um, energy enhancers, and I put them on before I tried to do my, my walking. And I was wondering, is that something that once you put those on, do you leave that for the whole day? or the 12 hours, or is it something you put on just when you exercise and then take off after you finished exercising or? That's a great question, David. All of the patches are meant to be worn for 12 hours, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, including energy enhancer. Um, so, you know, I, I typically wear energy enhancer on a day when I'm gonna, when I'm feeling a little tired and I just need a little extra oomph where I've got a big, work out ahead of me or a big hike or something, but you can definitely leave it on for 12 hours. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. And on the, the 
the greater side for that. Uh, just as a, I guess, kind of like a praise report, I had my um, A1C, my lab work done the other day, and I was thinking it was going to be extremely high because I was off of my diet and not exercising as much and stuff and everything. And it had actually went up. It went from 6.0 to 6.1. So I was thinking it was going to be extremely high. And before that, it went, it came down from 6.4 to 6.0. So like within the last uh, seven months or so, I've been on X39 and, and Eon off and on, but I've come down from like about, my A1C has come down over the last couple of months from about 6.5 uh, 6 to 6.0. And it's just been around 6.1 the last time, but I've been averaging right around there the last few months. Congratulations, that's huge. For, for those of you who aren't familiar with that blood test, it measures blood sugars over a longer period of time. Instead of just a blue blood glucose test, it just is a one point in time. The hemoglobin A1C measures over like a three month period, how your blood sugars have been. So that's really good. You're moving in the right direction, David. Right, so those who don't get the, the instant miracle, you know, like, like I didn't, but it's just, over time being consistent with it it's 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 marvelous thank you guys so much yeah thank you congratulations all right we got a bunch of hands we have um ch um first if you'd like to unmute and tell us your name please hi this is christina holly from colorado hi christina hi um <clears throat> I'm just gonna tell you guys a story of what happened to me the other day i was at um a store and this gal was talking about how she had fallen off the back of a trucker she was unloading a dock and she's been that happened in 2017 and she's been in therapy and trying to take care of that for all these years and she thought she was doing better in 2020 and she realizes she's not and she said she's going to go get some uh <laughs> and to take care of it. And I said, well, let me tell you about this. <laughs> and so I said, well, are you open to trying it? And she said, sure. And when I popped it on her, she literally started freaking out right there in the store. <laughs> it was crazy. She was lifting her leg and she's like, I can't do this. I can't do this either. And she's doing all these things. And she got down on the floor and she's tying her shoes. And she's like, what? What in the heck? What is this? What did you do? <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, can I video you? <laughs> but I never did video her. She likes to talk. So she just kept talking. But anyways, it was fun and it was wonderful. And I just thought I'd share that with you. And, and was that X39, Christina? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yay. I love it. I love it. Those, those are fun stories. They really yeah, are. Those are fun ones to share. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Stash that one away in your, in your back pocket and pull it out often. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a real joy, a joy bus uh, bringer for that one. Yay. Thank you, Christina. All right. You're Anne, you're next. And then Katie. Morning. Well, I, wanted to, I wanted to share a story of one of my distributors who had been on hot hunt the practice for about three to four weeks. She was dealing with overall, you know, body aches everywhere, if you know what I mean. And she um, had tried a lot of other stuff with no success. She's a golfer, loves to golf, wasn't able to golf, and she was desperately wanting to get back out there. So she'd been patching for three to four weeks with some relief, but not enough. And then she, she wrote to me this week because I kept saying to her, you need to play with these and figure out where, what meridian, what acupuncture point is going to work for you. And here's what she shared with me over the weekend. I woke up almost 95% pain free. I took my dogs out for a half mile walk, took me 30 minutes a week ago. It took me 18 minutes today. I took my bath, I patched up, I scrubbed two bathrooms, vacuum, steam clean, the tile, hardwood floors, wax the wood floors, and I am 95% pain free. I'm elated, I'm astonished, and I am thrilled. So <laughs> it just goes to prove that, you know, you have to find where the, the, the energy or the conductivity is blocked, and it's playing with these patches to get to that point. 
you know, so yeah, it's always amazing. And I do want to say one other thing about um, the detox piece and the fatigue and all of that stuff that can happen with not drinking enough water. But also I had one of my clients I worked with who was exhausted, exhausted on the X39. And we tried having her wear it at night. That didn't work for her. She was still exhausted. And what we finally found out was that her mercury levels were very high. So it's amazing how the body has a way of saying, you know, I'm trying to get rid of this stuff. And it takes a lot of energy to do that. So it zaps you of your energy to do anything else. So sometimes it can be related to, to that as well. And what we had to do with her is go very slow, two hours a day, and four hours until she could tolerate the full 12. So And, and Anne, I'm curious, because it's a heavy metal, um, did you introduce glutathione or did you just want to stick with X39 for a while? She's, she was working with a practitioner. I did not introduce glutathione because... She was already having trouble with doing the X39. Just, just the X39, right? <laughs> and that raises it by 30%. So I didn't want to do a 200 to 300% increase with the glutathione. So good point. Right away. That's yeah. A good point. Yeah. yeah. Great. Great share. Thank you, Anne. Okay. We are having a great call. I'm loving these shares. We're almost at the bottom of the hour. So let's do three, these three people that have their hands up, and then we're going to turn it over to Robin and Gregory. So we have Katie and then Kate and then Christina. Thank you. Uh, really quick, I wanna say thank you to the upline, Dr. Tom and Anne and um, Connie Lucas, they're my upline and they have really helped me to stay in the game because life can get a little bit, um, there's a lot of shifting always going on. And, and I think that Anne just had a birthday. So happy birthday, Anne. And thanks for all of your service that you do for everybody. Um, and with the detoxing, I do ionic detox foot baths. And when we're doing those, the people are so tired. And then once we switch to the negative ions, they get their energy back. So detoxing can exhaust our bodies. Um, so for myself, my own testimony, I've been traveling. I've moved down to San Diego from Oregon. And it's been a wild ride. Like nothing has happened the way that they said it would or should should have and so I've like had to sleep in my car a couple of nights and sleep on a lot of people's couches and um the ice wave has been such a saver for me for like any kind of pain that I've had or discomfort and then I also started a new job at a restaurant and it's like super fast paced and super busy and I don't know anything about fish I'm from Utah originally so we didn't I didn't serve fish and now I work at a seafood place and so before I go to work I make sure to put the x39 on just to help with my mental and emotional bodies and um, and just to give me that energy and that kick that I need. And I can see a difference from when I was started at the restaurant and I wasn't wearing my patches consistently to now where I've been wearing them consistently. My days are getting easier, my brain is working better and I just am so appreciative of uh, this technology. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful share. Kate and then Christina. Good morning. I wanted to let you know about something that happened with arthroscopic knee surgeries. They happened three and three and a half years ago. My knees didn't quite get rehabbed properly. They were not supporting me. It gave me a fear of falling. I never knew when a knee would give out. So my steps became really small. I wasn't walking upright. I was more bending down, looking at where my feet were. So I could protect myself and three weeks in are you wa between three and four clothes? weeks into x39 i realized i jumped out of the car was doing my two foot strides my arms were swinging i was my head was up and i got to the door of trader joe's so fast it it shocked me and i went wait a minute what just happened and i realized i had no knee pain and I haven't had any knee pain since the day I realized it. I am moving my entire body differently and no pain. And I'm so thrilled. I love when those things kind of just creep up on you <laughs> and, and, and not really creep up like, wow. You, it's like, oh, I walked all the way to, to the Trader Joe's with no pain. I'm standing upright. I'm noticing all these things. And uh, one little tweak to the body, the, the, the knee, and the whole thing comes into line. Beautiful share, Kate. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be, 
you're going to be on our calls a lot more sharing more good stuff. Thank you, you so betcha. much. You betcha. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> All right, we have Christina Clark, and then I'll turn it over to Robin and Gregory. Hey guys, so I just wanna go really fast. I just wanna say I had a elbow injury from working out at the gym. I got on the patches about just over a month ago. My um, frozen shoulder healed up in a couple of weeks. My sciatica in my back leg, uh, i had been treating for years, trying to get rid of it, is gone. My anxiety was gone by the next morning. My elbow's getting better. Um, I actually am using the carnosine and the X39 on my elbow and I do the carnosine because it says only three times a week. So I do that like three times a week, every other day. I didn't know if I could use it more, but I'm going to see a friend um, who has a dog that's in bad shape. And I know that people use the patches on their dogs. And I wanted to know if I could put like a whole X39 that wasn't used. Cause I heard people say you can use them after you use them. So can we use Ice Wave, Eon and an X39 on a dog that's about to be put down just to see if it will work? Wow. So the dog is in, is in pretty bad shape. Not She's in bad shape and they're about to put her down and I'm gonna drive an hour and 20 minutes to see somebody I haven't seen in 20 years to put patches on her dog. Oh. Um, oh, bless your heart. Yeah, thank you, Christina. You know, if anyone has any thoughts, um, please uh, chime in. Um, there, we've had many animal testimonials and I think it was just the X39, Robin or Gregory can correct me, but I think it was just the X39 that the, the sweet story about Starsky, who's Dr. Tiana's uh, little Shih Tzu, and he was on death's door. And um, she put it on at night and expect, did not live the next day. And he was up and standing at his water bowl, wagging his tail and ready, ready for life. And he lived another two or, two or three years. Um, and she, she just did X39. So um, sometimes less is more. You know, I don't know about using all of those patches, maybe just the X39. But if anyone else has a thought. I see Jerry raised her hand. I Jerry? Do you have a thought about the dog? Yes, I have a dog and I use a brand new X39 on her. Um, she, her allergies were like, really, she ate her fur off her body. She scratched her body, everything was so bad. Now, uh, when it gets to the point where there's too much pollen or something, I put the X39 on her. I have tried used ones on her and I don't know if it's the fact that she's 70 pounds, <clears throat> but then used ones don't work. But also my friend who has a cat, that was near death and was down to, I think, real four pounds or something. They started with the patches. And I think in two weeks, cause the cat had not eaten, was back and it's now back to full, full force and it's 15 years old. So I know they do work. Okay, I just wanna make sure I've put X39 on humans and like seen miraculous things happen. And then I've also tried Eon and Ice Wave and they believe that Eon and Ice Wave and the X39 have to all work together, but they can't afford it or whatever. So I'm like, now I'm just gonna patch people with X39 because it, it does something to everybody I've, I've patched. Well, I have used the Eon on my dog too for thunderstorms and that, that good results with that. Is that a new one? Cause I used to use one on my dog and he was like, uh, no. new one. <laughs> he was still yeah, it okay. Was, it was a new gotcha. one. Okay. When, when, when the dog is that, that far gone, Christina, I would use a new patch. You know, we use, use patches on our animals that are still doing pretty well and maybe just have a few little minor issues, but yeah. Yeah. My one. dog needs knee surgery. And so I've been using used ones and I haven't seen any progress. So I'm going to start using new ones on them. I just want to check. All right. Thank you, Christina. Thank okay. you. Um, yeah. looks like. Oh, oh, do you have your hand up again, Christina, Holly, or uh, did you? Yeah, just I did. I was going to tell you that uh, my daughter has a dog and he's like, he's a little tiny dog and he's like eight. So he's pretty old for an old dog. I mean, a little dog. And he's seriously walking around, like not being able to walk. He just acts like an old dog. And I put a used patch on him and just the X39. And I did it for a week. So I take it off at night, put it on. I put it on his collar and we'd take the collar off at night. And he was up and running around like a pup. <laughs> awesome. So there you go, Christina. <laughs> Lots of different shares. So uh, you, can't, you can't hurt the animal, you know? So 
your and your love is your love is a big piece of that. So thank you for your share. Thanks everybody. I'm going to turn it over to Robin and Gregory. Um, <laughs> I can hear Gregory, but I don't see him. Oh, there you are, at the bottom of my screen. Hello, Robin and Gregory. Hey, great Hello. job, Michelle. What a wonderful call. He's what a great way to start a week, isn't it? These Monday morning miracle calls just get us all supercharged, you know. And so I'm grateful for all the stories and the miraculous stories about dogs and cats. We have a, a we have a cat that, you know, was on the way out and he's around here somewhere. Max, most people know Max. He usually, <laughs> he usually sits went, right there. Usually when we're on a Zoom, Max has, has to be a part of it. But uh, yeah, we've got some exciting stuff to talk to you about tonight. Jenny, Robin, you want me to take the... Yeah, let's see, a typo. We'll mute that Zoom yeah. listener. Well, first I want to thank all of you that um, came on to the book launch call and those of you that made it and those of you that didn't were um, put into the prize drawing and four people from our team won prizes. And so um, two of you are on, Casey and um, what was the other person that was on? Um, Bonnie, you both won prizes, which is pretty cool. And a few others did too. So the book launch was very successful. Um, it did make it to number one bestseller on the Amazon list. Um, it's, it's a, it's going to be, we haven't seen the book yet. Um, we're excited to read it because there's a great input on there from many leaders in the profession about, you know, what a wonderful profession we're in. So that's part one. Part two is so many of you are going for rank advancements that the juju is like on high gear here and um, very exciting. We are celebrating Priscilla Everhart this evening as a new director, which is very exciting. Greg is going to go handle the dogs. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, we are here to support whoever needs support going for it we are thrilled about what's going on uh exciting times for everybody in the business and like oh and linda linda jenks won too she's on um so robin, linda, robin linda, i got a message that i won too but i haven't gotten an email oh from really them. yeah oh, I, cool. I actually got a message from, yeah that well, i won too i love it i love <laughs> it so all you know everyone who was um involved in the book I had an opportunity to give a gift and so yay so our team scored big time big time way out of proportion and you guys showed up even though um they had a little technical difficulty but all's good and the future is bright so um back to rank advancements lots of energy going on with lots of teams doing lots of extra stuff you know we're we're at the 20th of the, what, what date is it? It's the 18th. We have till the 31st. And so there's plenty of time for those of you that are going for it and uh, very exciting. And then um, uh, tomorrow night, we have Dr. Tom with us, which is wonderful. And then we also have, I'm going to have Gregory share a little bit about um, the convention and the name tags. Yeah. Well, hello, hello. So, um, you know, one of the things we always like to do is know who from the Live Younger communities in physical attendance. And sometimes, you know, we see each other on Zooms and, but, you know, to actually see each other and give a fist bump or a big hug, whatever it is, you know, and to be together. And plus we might have one or two events that we're gonna wanna let you know about. <clears throat> so we came up with this idea that we're gonna have a, a, a name tag it says, activate your stem cells with your name and your city state. And we're going to be provide them free of charge to everyone on our team, everyone in the Live Younger community that's going to be in physical attendance at the conference. After the conference, it'll be available for everybody to individually buy from our web store. But we're going to, we're going to buy them for you. So Oh, uh, in today's newsletter be coming out later this afternoon, there's going to be a registration page where you can register, uh, you click on it, and it'll take you to a page where you can put your name, your city, state, uh, your upline director, and, uh, and when you're arriving at the conference, and we're going to be placing a big order, you know, I expect we're going to be ordering hundreds of name badges, and we're really delighted and honored to provide them to you. Uh, so you can wear them and take them home. There'll be a magnetic name tag. 
that you know you can wear proudly wherever you go whenever it's appropriate uh, but the nice thing about it at the conference we'll see all these people name tags go oh you're part of live younger community so we'll be able to identify each other so very excited about that so we'll have that available on tonight's call for everybody to uh, uh tonight's call we'll talk about it but in today's newsletter which typically goes out around four o'clock uh, mountain time every monday there'll be a place where you can click to register to get your name tag cool huh any questions <laughs> thank you robin and gregory Woo, we're so happy <laughs> Does anyone have questions before we say okay. goodbye and, and it, please do read the newsletter. Um, we write it for a reason to make your life easier. <laughs> and I get asked a lot of questions that are right there in the newsletter all the time. So um, the bottom part of the newsletter is the same information. The top part is the new information. And, and please, when you bring on someone new, forward the newsletter to them. And at the bottom, they can click and join the email list. And we put that on there to create duplication. If we do everything for people, then they expect that and then it doesn't duplicate. And it's a lovely, thoughtful thing to do. And let's make it easy to duplicate. Okay, everybody. Great. And thank you all for those of you that bought the book. I see a bunch of you have said it in the chat and um, we're excited to read it. I know there's some great stuff in there. I ordered okay. the book for my library on Saturday. I was so excited. All right, Christina already has it. Look at that. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You got it. We haven't even got it, Christina. I ordered it the day you had the book um, club thing. It went the announcement thing. I was I didn't know about if I was invited to that, but I ordered it that day and it came like on Sunday morning. <laughs> sure. Well, let us know what you think. Yeah, yeah. well, I just saw where y'all are in the book. Yeah, I'll let you know. Yo, oh, and Anne has Laura. one too. Oh Anne my God. Oh, hold, hold it up. Tina Anne. has one. It, but I don't see it in the calendar. Too. There it is. <laughs> Should be in there. There's the book. Oh, yeah, yeah. beautiful. Tim and Helen, we can hear you guys. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, we, do, we do want to mention that Helen and Karen went down to New Mexico, had a very successful event. So things are happening all over the place. Yep. All Thank right. you so much. We want to unmute and say goodbye, everyone, and have a beautiful week and keep on patching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, you, so Thank much. you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a great day. Bye. 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 Stories. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. bye. Thanks, Michelle. Bye. Thank you. Okay.